Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Would you believe it or not? It's 2.30 in the morning right now. Now, yes, what am I doing up at 2.30? Well, I've got a game plan. I've got a little bit of a walk out to my spot where I'm gonna be walleye fishing today. So I thought I got probably two trips because I got a pile of gear with me. So I'm gonna take my first set right now, find out where I wanna be. It's gonna be very cold today, like minus 17 to minus 25. They're kind of predicting that they're kind of all over the place, but windy. So we're gonna set up the otter in the area that I wanna be at. And then uh, we'll come back and maybe get a little bit of a nap and then get out there for the first light bite. Or I might just decide to fish all night. I haven't decided yet. Right now I'm wired after driving for, I don't know, three and a half, four and a half, five hours, I don't know. But I'm here and I can't sleep right now. So I wanna go get set up. I may or may not show any of the setup of the otter, but that's what the plan is right now. Get set up, go from there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's go fishing. Now at my spot, it's dark. The moon's lit up everything pretty good, which is nice. But uh, I'm about to put my first peg. As you can see, the tent's not set up yet. It's really windy. So I like to put one, one peg in first and then uh, go from there. Woo -wee! It is cold and windy. It's really important, you guys, when it's like going to be gross out to try to fish in a shelter. Not for your safety, but for the fish's safety more than anything. Just keep that in mind. Alrighty then, 6.42. See the moon right there somewhere? Oh baby, it's full moon today. Full moon's like one of my favorite times. But anyways, I decided going back to the truck, getting a few hours of sleep so I felt like a human being today. I've got my second load of stuff. Like, what am I doing? Why do I have so much stuff? Tell you what, I'm real looking forward to getting back out to that otter though and getting uh, the heater going hunkering down for the day, slamming some big walleyes. I hope there's big walleyes. Let's go. Well, do you guys want the good news or the bad news first? The good news is there is no bad news. I'm set up, I'm fishing. It's eight o'clock. That took an hour and a half to get everything organized. And I had already the order set up. Wow. It's windy out though. Like it's really windy. I had to Repeg down a little bit. Oh, you can probably see the shack moving a bit. It is windy. We're sitting in 26.1 feet of water. I had a couple big marks roll through already. Again, stop dropping the transducer, Clayton, before you're ready to fish. But anyways, what are we starting with? Dinner bells? And I gotta get a tantrum on yet. Yes, let's fish. Oh. Just letting that rattle bait just sit there right now. Feels like a Cisco. Maybe not. Maybe not. Like I said, just letting that rattle bait just sit there. And uh, yeah. So it feels like a Cisco, and it's definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Dead sticking a rattle bait. Guess it's a thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, that's a nice way to start the day right there. Look at that. It's got a growth on his side there. Weird. Here, tell you what. We'll show off its good side right there. That's a nice way to start the day. Nice golden Walter. Thank you, girl. Dead sticking a rattle bait. Apparently that's a thing. Huh, who would have thunk it? Ah, that was really tiny. Really tiny. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is what's down there, hey? Oh boy. You guys need to get bigger, I'm hoping. Please be bigger than what you are. Fish two. Marking lots of fish right now, but mostly little guys. They're going to come through in different waves though, right? Like you'll get some big fish come through. You'll get some small fish come through. Heater is going on high. We're not gonna catch fish right now. Might as well be hot and toasty in here. I think a lot of the fish have been marking. I just have too big of a lure for them, really. But I don't really want to downsize because I'd rather, I'd rather wait for the nicer fish to come by and be prepared with the right bait and the right lure. 
I'm not a numbers guy. I'll tell you one thing. It's sure nice in the otter right now. Oh, I would not want to be outside. Very slow bite right now. My eyes are falling shut. My eyes are falling shut. Oh, come on. There we go, finally. Like, it, it, everything's small. I've marked so many fish this morning in the last, literally last hour, but everything is like this size though. Like, tiny. And the spoon that I'm using is a little bit too big for these fish, so I haven't had a lot of action at all. I know I could downsize and probably catch a bunch of these, but it's kind of like, I basically want to wait for like, the right fish to come by. I don't want to have on that smaller bait when that bigger fish comes by. I have confidence in a bigger bait. So, so far, like I said, lots of these, like this is tiny, tiny. And I've got on right now, I've went to the tantrum here just to try to draw more fish in. And then I have a jig and a minnow here for a dead stick rod. Yeah. Not hot and heavy, but it's only 10 o'clock. I think the fish just slept in today. Lots of marks though, like lots. So I've got confidence that I'm in a, I'm a good travel route area. And that's what I'll talk about a little bit today is like when you're, you don't have the option of moving around a lot, especially if you have all this gear, is to like pick a spot where you figure fish are gonna travel throughout the day or even come up maybe say at last light to feed or something like that. It's all about putting yourself in the the right position or hopefully the right position, right? Like it's ice fishing. Sometimes it's hard. Like sometimes it's really easy and you can drill the hole and you'll be on the perfect spot. And sometimes you can drill a hole and you'll end up being nowhere where you nowhere near where you should be. But We'll see, the day's a puppy, the day is a puppy. Fish four. Apparently, I brought the candy van to the play school today. Oh, jeez, <laughs> just dropped back down there after fish four. And I don't think fish five is much bigger. Okay, let me rephrase that. It's not any bigger, much bigger. Oh boy, Clayton. Oh boy. Fish five. Rattlebait's just hot right now. Catches all the big mamas. Oh. Something's on the dead stick. Oh yeah. I'm just just leveling them right now, hey? Just showing those walleyes who the boss is right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh a perch. Huh, okay. Well, a perch, a little perch perch. More, more, more giants. Wow, the giants are really turning on now. The giants are really turning on now. Just cracking them. Whew. Man, my arms are gonna get sore from reeling all these giant fish in today. Walleye six. Fish seven, but walleye six. Fish eight, small. Okay, well, it's been slow. It's 11.30. Oh, look, look at that. So I thought <laughs> this in, un, un, unbelievable. I'm like, you know what? Let's drop the underwater camera down and see what I can see down there. Instantly, I saw a perch. I'm like, you know what, water clarity is pretty good, even for 26 feet. So we're recording. I just had that walleye come up and hit me and miss. There's a perch in the background. You can see swimming around. Here it comes again. Come on. Come on. It's a big lure for that little perch. Missed it. <laughs> that time I let him do a double gulp. I'll make sure we make sure we get you. Perch, 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 perch. So a lot of those little marks I've been marking are 
clearly perch, right? I'm gonna keep you. You're gonna be a perch snack. Isn't that funny? When I go perch fishing, I keep a walleye to eat. And when I go walleye fishing, I keep a perch to eat. What's wrong with me? Look at the perchies come in here. Perch, perch, and walleye. This makes so much sense now that all those marks before. Couldn't get them to eat. This totally makes sense now. Let's look at him miss it. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Oh, is there? now he's got it, but he's hardly got it. No use even setting the hook. Slower than slow right now. So I think I'll make some soup. Some homemade chicken noodle soup. Soup is like literally one of the best pick-me-ups. Slower, cold day. Not that I'm cold. I've been turning that heater up on high quite a bit throughout the day. It's that wind though, it's, it's it's nippy out there today, that's for sure. I'm so glad I'm inside. Spoil that puppy up. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. Well, good news, bad news. Bad news first this time. My camera just died and apparently I forgot my cord to plug it into the battery. Donkey. Good news is I can fish two holes again. Okay, we're gonna downsize a little bit. Try something a bit smaller. Smaller dinner bell right now. See, like, all it took to catch these fish is to really downsize. It's just, I was super stubborn because I, it's not like, uh, the, these fish aren't gonna, <laughs> aren't gonna make my day, right? Like, so honestly, like part of my brain is telling me, put the bigger hook back on because it's like, you just want, you want like the right fish to come by. But then part of me is also like, just keep fishing what's going to catch fish right now because if the little guys are eating this so should a big fish as it comes by and i got the rattle bait here too so it's not like he might not key in on that rattle bait too right like fishing is such a mental game oh i love it oh here we go again here we go here we go again not a big mark though but uh okay it's all good light 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 i'm using a little bit lighter rod too this is the 37 medium light to the frostbite series normally i've been using the 38 inch medium which is the true grit and this is the smoke show it's called it'll still handle a big walleye but it's like it's it's as light as i would go for the class of walleye that i have or that i fish for usually there we go, bud. I got another mark down there, too. As this is dropping down, I'm going to pump that rattle bait a bit. Here we go. Now, this one is a little bit better. It's still small, though. Don't get excited, you guys. Don't get excited. It's still not that big. It's just bigger than the ones that I've been catching. That's all. That's all. But there's hope. There's hope for the, for the night bite. It's four o'clock. I still got like two hours of solid fishing. Look at this thing just inhaled this bait. Like gone. Dinner bell choked. About a 17 incher. He'd be a good eater. I say that a lot, don't I? He'd be a good eater. There you go, bud. And that's what's going for me right now. Just a small gold rose dinner bell meat, or it's not, not small, medium size, tipped with a minnow head, just for a little bit of scent more than anything. There's still hope, you guys. Did you believe? I, I always believed. Even though I could have had a nap midday here at some point, I've always believed. Because what have I been teaching you guys? Come on. Prime time. You know, I'm just going to go with the theory that it's harder to catch the small ones than the big ones because they have a smaller mouth. Does that work at all? 
couple marks down there maybe. Come on. Yep. Wish I could say he's much bigger, but he's not. He's like a medium small one. So you're probably wondering like, how did I pick the spot that I was gonna camp out on all day? Well, basically, all I did, here, I'll get this fish back and we'll talk about it. What a 16 incher, again, perfect eater. So picking a spot to camp out on like all day. Normally early season like this, it's still considered early season, about eight, 10 inches of ice. If I can move around a little bit, I'm gonna fish like a big basin with like somewhere maybe like a back creek axis where I can kind of jump around on the mud flat the whole time. If I'm gonna camp out on a spot all day where I know I'm not gonna be able to move around, I, I basically find like a sharp edge, maybe uh, right on a break line or say a point where I feel like I'm in like a big travel route where the fish to get to another area they have to go. So where I'm set up right now, there's like a point right here and there's a basin here and there's a basin here. So the fish want to cruise to each basin, they have to come through this point, intercept it. Now I just picked 26 feet as uh, a magical depth because it drops off to almost never another land this way. And I'm hoping to be able to draw fish, you know, say if they're cruising at the 15 feet or 10 feet, whatever, right? Like, or even say 30, 40 feet this way, I'm hoping to be able to draw them towards me. Picking the exact depth of 26 feet isn't like a, a science or there's a reason why I picked it. I just set up on that point, you know, like I said, to try to intercept fish as they're cruising spots throughout the day. Now they should come up on this point as the as the night progresses here and the sun starts to set and basically what they'll do is they'll push bait fish up this point and the bait fish will get to an area there where all of a sudden they start to like scramble a bit and that's when they start to pick them off one at a time type of thing and and they'll do it like in schools too the walleyes you'll see like right now i've got to school a smaller fish right like we're hoping that a, um uh, a school of bigger fish comes by yet too right like but that's kind of out of my control in terms of what's going to be there that day it changes from day to day now normally at this point i probably would never ever put this video uh on my channel but if i can get a fast edit out with this where i don't have any big fish although it's only 4 12 the night's not over the as the night progresses usually the fish are tending usually tend to get bigger and bigger as the night goes fingers crossed hopefully it makes me what i'm saying right now it makes me look like a hero it's not always the case obviously but i'm i'm positive and i'm hopeful that it is the case today okay well it's definitely an upsize right there we're going in the right direction we're going in the right direction I'll tell you one thing they're pounding this little dinner bell spoon though like as soon as i downsize it's just been on oh this marks medium museum coming down i'm gonna pause it come on a little bit better mark for sure. Come on. Oh no, come back. Come on. Come back, come back. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Oh, come on. That's the F. Eat it. Eat it. Okay, I'm gonna take it right past him, right down. Maybe he'll chase it down now. That's a better mark. No, he's coming down. He's coming down, he likes it, he likes it. He's coming down. This is good for me, this is good for me. This is good. Okay, he's probably looking at it. So I'm gonna start to pound it in that sand a bit. And I'm gonna slowly lift it and pause it. Right here. As if, how didn't you eat it? It's a good mark. Best mark I've had all day for sure. Come on. Best mark I've had today. Oh, I wonder if I should put it back in the sand again. No, he's still on it. Best mark I've had today. Come on. Come on, seal the deal, buddy. Seal the deal. Good mark, for sure it is. Okay, ready? I'm gonna drop it in the sand. Oh, I don't think he saw it. Disturb the sand up a little bit. 
We have to hope that we don't catch another fish before that mark right there. He's coming down to it. Come on, come down to it. Come down to it. Come on. I'll give you a chance to eat it up high. Let's see if you eat it out of, this, out of the dirt. There we go. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him to eat it out of the dirt. <laughs> I gave him so many chances to eat it up higher. And he didn't. We finally got him to eat it out of the dirt. I'm not saying it's a it's a monster, but it's probably the biggest one we've had today. It's definitely the biggest mark we've had today. Where are you, girl? You're here somewhere. Where are you? <sighs> yeah, that's a big tail. That's a big tail. That's a big tail. You guys, I, I didn't see the whole fish yet. I just saw the tail look pretty good. It's a nice fish. It's not a giant. It's nice. Come on, come on. Oh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Come on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Here she comes. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. It's wrapped. Funny, it's wrapped. Funny. I don't want it to break. I don't like how it's wrapped. But we got her. Got her. Yes, that's a good one right there. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. Slugging it out, man. That fish gave me a few chances. <laughs> Come meet the spoon up high. Didn't eat it, but we put her down to the sand and it ate it right out of the sand. How many times have I explained it in my video? You know, and I hear so many comments over and over. Put it up high and like, and twitch it and twitch it and twitch it. I'm telling you, you want to catch big walleye consistently? Don't underestimate eating it out of the sand. Awesome. Back down you go. Hope, oh, 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 which guy? Hopefully there's more of you to come yet. Awesome. Man, downsizing worked. You guys, like here is the size of spoon that I started with. And this is what I'm using now. Quite a bit smaller, right? Can you see that? Can I turn my wrist enough? I think so. That is quite a bit smaller. Never underestimate <sighs> letting those fish eat it out of the sand. I'm telling you, it works. It works. That was the best mark I've had all day for sure. And I thought, I didn't think I was going to get it to eat. I had it up above him like three times and finally, I'm like, you know what? We're just going to put it in the sand. And I just kept ch -ch -ch -ch, just beating up that sand and he went, whoosh, and sucked it right out of it. <laughs> Little guy. Little, little, little guy. Again, I was beating up that sand down there. This one's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Whoa. I just went from the biggest one of the day to the smallest. Oh, I got more marks down there. We gotta get down there now. Man, these fish are coming in here. Coming in here right now. Here we go. This is what we waited all day for. Hummingbird is lit up. Like a Christmas tree. Move that rattle bait once in a while too, because who knows, right? These fish get aggressive. Why isn't my spoon sinking? Don't forget about that rattle bait, Clayton. It's a sleeper. You'll catch fish on it too. Down goes the dinner bell. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. I'm so glad that fish gave me another chance. Or gave me a few chances. Your instinct is always to pull it up higher above the fish and just like twitch it. And don't get me wrong, that works for sure. But I'm telling you, you guys, I've caught more big fish, big walleyes especially, just beating up that bottom. Like... Lots of times when it's up high, they get too much time to investigate it. And they're like, no, that's just a chunk of metal. They're like, I know better than that. Whereas when it's in that sand, they don't know if it's crayfish or if it's a minnow or what. But they're just like, huh, that looks like food. I got to eat it. There we go. It's, it's crazy right now. Like, it's crazy. You guys... Those walleyes, sometimes they'll wait all day 
just to come up for that last couple hours to eat. Don't pack in too early. I set up in the dark, and guess what? I'm gonna be packing up in the dark. Come on. Oh, it charged it, it charged it and it ate it. I just didn't really feel it. It's a nice fish. Not as big as the other one, but it's nice. Not as big as my, that last fish, but it's still nice. Prime time, baby. Prime time. Come on. Okay. Like I said, not as big as that other one, but still, still a nice specimen. But I gotta get you down quick because there's stuff going. There's stuff going on right now. I got a buddy over there, and uh, that's the sound of probably losing a good one. <laughs> Poor guy. Either that or he had a baby. Not sure. Come on. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. That, that fish crushed me. Crushed me. I don't think it's that big. It's not. It's not small. It's got like medium sized head shakes. Oh, it's got some weight. It's got some weight. It's got some weight. He wants to he wants to pull. He wants the dog. When you're fighting a fish that's got some size, don't just crank and crank and crank. That's everybody's first like instinct is to crank and crank and crank. When it's dogging down like this, let it do its thing. And if it feels like it's pulling, but it's not giving, loosen your drag just a little bit, but you're gonna have to tighten it up a bit when you go to reel again. This fish, this might be bigger than I thought, you guys. My heart starts to pump. <laughs> um, yeah, it's bigger than I thought. It's the biggest one of the day, you guys. It's definitely the biggest one of the day. Might even be a fish worth worth measuring. Oh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Come here. Oh, I don't like her on that hole. <laughs> that mark came from nowhere, like nowhere. It just pounded me. Oh, back up slow. It's a big fish, you guys. This is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. This is a big fish. This is probably my biggest one of the year. This is my biggest fish of the year. Hands down, my biggest fish of the year so far. It is a toad, you guys. We toughed it out. We waited all day for a bite like this. The good news is it's not done yet. You guys, it's, a, it's big. It's big. It's big. I want to get a, a quick, 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 quick weight on it. You guys, I don't weigh a lot of fish vertical. I never weigh them with a hook through the gill. I've been okay with this clip so far. This is a big one. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, baby. 10.02. <laughs> We did it. We cracked the 10. We cracked the 10. So sick. Yes. Oh, easy girl. <laughs> so good. Oh, thank you so much, girl. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, just on that little dinner bell. Small. It's a medium sized dinner bell. It scores. It scores. Like I said, I don't weigh a lot of fish vertical. I have been really good with this clip though because it locks the jaw in and it stays secure. I don't like the hooks for the gills. I don't like that. What this one comes with sometimes is like a, a black clip and it slips through the lips. It's no good. This one has been good. What a day. It was definitely a big lull during the day. That I think that soup was definitely the pick me up of the day. And then that fish right there that seals the deal. Unreal. 
Oh, I feel good. Like I feel good. I just had patience that the fish were gonna come to me. And trust me, a few times today I started to really doubt myself. And that's why you don't leave early. You guys, what have we been, what have we been preaching like this whole year? Prime time. Well, I fished for a little bit longer after that fish, caught one or two more small guys that won't even be on the video just because how better way to end the video with a 10 pound walleye, right? Like, I appreciate everybody watching as always. Uh, by the time this video airs, I should have uh, two slash beanies back up in the merch. I appreciate it, everybody. I have prime time shirts coming soon. You guys are honestly like, I have the best community support slot whatever you guys want to call yourselves on youtube you guys are awesome you're the shicksters you're deadly you guys have been so good thank you for everything and i so look forward to it i still got some more videos coming out before the new year yet i've got a, uh, a lake trout fishing trip planned which uh i know everybody's their favorite including myself so as always guys thank you very much for watching and don't forget get outside